you love sports that are fast paced. It's time for the main event. You're an adrenaline junkie. There it is, hit it! It's just such a fun, addicting game. Spokane native Kelsey Cook is a world champion foosball player. Her mom, Kathy, a member of the U.S. Table Soccer Hall of Fame. Both appear in the documentary Foosballers, a look at what was once the eighth most popular sport in the U.S. You just caught on fire. Kathy Brainerd began playing in the 70s at the height of the foosball phenomenon when Porsches and Corvettes were offered up as prizes on a million dollar tour. It was kind of a crazy lifestyle, but it was also a fun lifestyle. Video games nearly killed the foosball fad, but professional players still compete in tournaments. Among them, Cindy Head. The winningest player in foosball history. I've had to play her a few times. It's terrifying. It's truly terrifying. <laughs> it's like playing a pit bull. She's, uh, she's intense. Every individual who comes to the game has their own style. Todd Lafredo, billed as the Michael Jordan of foosball, uses math skills to compete. It's a lot of geometry, it's a lot of angles. But the best player in the world is the ambidextrous Tony Spreaderman. It's breathtaking. It's, it's, I'm proud. Just how people swarm around him like he's a god. And everything he touched turned to gold. I knew that I wanted to be the best player in the world. I didn't have many friends in high school. I was a foosball player. I wasn't a football player. Tony is one of the few who can make a living as a foosball player. Kelsey is a headlining comedian who hosts Wrists of Fury, a YouTube series that pits her foosball skills against other comedians. To play like blindfolded or handcuffed or, you know, with one arm and then if they still lose, we make them do just horrific punishments. Like, we've made people eat dog food. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a really good time for me. With all this attention, maybe foosball has a good shot. Yeah, we actually made it! Of finally making a comeback.